Hey y'all, happy Monday. So I want to remind you, remind me, tomorrow is March 1st. And so that's Women in the Words, the first Tuesday of the month. And we will be at Broad Street Deli again. I'm so thankful for that space. Come on out, 7.30 tomorrow night. It's Broad Street Deli in Dunn, and that's Women in the Word. All right, so we're going to pick up today in Proverbs 4, which is where we left off on Friday. And I, I don't know about you, but for me, even when I'm doing these or when I go back and listen to them, there's, you know, that still small voice that says, are you hearing me first? <laughs> Have you put me over all the stuff? Have you put blinders on so that all you see and all you hear is my word and I am better than I have been but my answer is not always yes as much as I wish that I could say my answer is always yes I'm still a work in progress and I'm very easily frustrated at things that I see or that are going on and I have to remember, again, the instruction is for me to attend to the words. Nobody else can do it for me. As much as I would love for somebody else to do it for me or to be able to do it for me, I'm the one that has to make the decision. I'm the one that has to make the choice. And so let's read these verses from Proverbs chapter 4, and then we're going to dig in a little bit. It says, My son, attend to my words, consent and submit to my sayings. Let them not depart from your sight. Keep them at the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them. Sorry, I've got to underline this here, even as I'm reading it. It's jumping off the page. Let them not depart from your sight, keep them in the center of your heart, for they are life to those who find them, healing and health to all their flesh. You keep and guard your heart with all vigilance and above all that you guard, for out of it flow the springs of life. Put away from you false and dishonest speech and willful and contrary talk, Put far from you. Let your eyes look right on with fixed purpose, and let your gaze be straight before you. Consider well the path of your feet. Let all your ways be established and ordered aright. Turn not aside to the right hand or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. This, these few verses. The seven verses, 20 to 27, is a fire hydrant. And so let's start off with verse 20. My son, attend to my words. Well, do you know what that means to attend to my words? Give attention to my words. Pay attention. And then he says, consent and submit to my sayings. Now we talked about this submit back in Psalm 62 5 where the psalmist says my soul wait only upon God and silently submit to him for my hope and expectation are from him. So that submitting to him is that we put everything else in its place and choose to heed to do his words, that we consent, that we agree, that we submit. We relinquish our will and we submit to him. And this is probably the same example we talked about in, in this verse, is that in Genesis, when Eve was approached by um, the serpent and she ate the fruit, she submitted to his voice and his word disregarding the word and promise of the Father. So when he says, attend to my words, consent and submit to my sayings, 
not what another voice says, not what you see on the news, not what you see on Facebook or any other um, form of social media. <laughs> if you can tell, I'm stopping myself from going down that trail. We are not going there today. But the only things that we know are absolute truth without any alteration, without any fluff or without anything twisted or added to it is the word of God. And he says, consent, let's agree, and submit, surrender, choose his voice to my sayings. All right, we'll pick it for tomorrow. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.